Hi and welcome today not to another zero waste video but to an explanation as to what happened in my life uh, within the past four weeks um, because people are getting worried <laughs> and I don't want you guys to be worried. That's sweet and kind and everything. Um, so I decided to, to explain my current life situation. Um, I think people might have been worried because I mentioned on the side that I have been fired from the health food store and uh, you guys noticed that I was uh, trying to save money. Um, I'm not starving, <laughs> I'm not dying, everything is basically fine. But what happened in the mid-December, mid, uh, I think, was that I got fired from the health food store that I worked at as a so-called mini-job. I was earning 450 euros there each month, month. Um, that was in addition to what I get from the state for studying medicine and um, I also have income from from the internet uh, basically so I got fired because I refused to actively sell meat to the customers for Christmas we had these we had uh, geese and ducks and uh, chickens and fish and like everything and uh, I've been working at the health food store for four and a half years and I, I've been vegan all the time and I never had got into this situation where I had to um, sell out my ideals uh, for that job. I never had to offer people meat um, to buy. I, you know, me as a cashier, I just I took everything they wanted to buy and um, um, swiped it over the, the cashier uh, and I never told them that I don't want them to buy that. That was fine for me, but I cannot ask them, t trying to persuade them to buy stuff that's going to kill them, that's going to kill the planet, and that's made of killed animals. So I refused to do that, and, and that, then I got fired in an instant. Um, they should have given me four weeks notice um, for me to get a new job for them to find a new um, employee but they didn't do that and that is totally illegal so I went to an, uh, a lawyer um, he specialized in labor rights and uh, I sued the health food store, which is like, it's the German version of Whole Foods, basically. It's the biggest um, health food store chain in Germany. I sued them, <laughs> and just yesterday I talked to my, uh, my lawyer, um, and uh, he said they want to settle. They offer me 90 euros um, payoff. Um, I lost basically 450 euros due to being fired so that's nice that's more than I expected and um, yeah I won <laughs> basically so uh, and my situation in the meantime was that I decided what to do with my life in the meantime um, uh, at Christmas and New Year's and the days between that I was like what should I do this being a med student, there's plenty of job opportunities out there, even better paid than the job at the health food store that I had. Um, but I liked the ethics of that job. I liked dealing with, with healthy food, with vegan food, with uh, like-minded people. And then I, after four and a half years, I found out that my employer, nor all the other people are like-minded. Um, but somehow I got the, I don't know, a sense that I maybe I should not look for a new job at all. Um, I have a German YouTube channel that is not that big either. It's not as small as this one. Um, and I make some money off of that. And I also sell an e-book online, which is a food plan for... Um, for escaping the pre pleasure trap um, uh, against food addiction and I make some money of that not too much 
but as much as I need basically to live of what I get from the state for studying medicine and what I get from the internet. So I decided <laughs> not to look for a new job at all, but to invest my newfound free time uh, into, into YouTube and into uh, working at the internet. But <laughs> you never know what happens out there. Um, you're self-employed, basically, and uh, you never know if you're going to sell anything, if you're going to have any views, if you're going to get any likes. You don't know what's going to happen out there. So I was like, okay, um, I need to watch my expenses. And then I watched a video from a YouTuber called Haley Carolina. She's uh, into zero waste, into veganism, and into um, minimalism. And she uh, discovered a concept about a year ago, I think, that she calls um, deliberate poverty. And I was inspired by that. And uh, two days after I decided I wanted to try deliberate poverty, uh, she quit <laughs> deliberate poverty because she said it, would, it sucked. After doing it one year, it sucked. So uh, what I tried is watching my expenses to not uh, spend more than five euros a day to see if I can get free food uh, someplace. I have a guy who gives me free food. Uh, so that's another thing. But that guy was in India for four weeks, so I could not get any free food since I've been fired from the health food store. Yeah. Um, so no need to worry about me. I'm fine. Um, I have enough money to pay for my expenses. Um, I do not need a new job. I do not want a new job. I want to try my best out there in the on the internet. I'm going to improve this channel as well, I suppose, because there's not even. <laughs> I've just been loading up loading videos, uh, but not really working on the aesthetics of this channel and, and everything else. And I'm, I'm going to uh, improve that as well, since I now have more time on my hands. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> um, I hope that explains uh, some of the things that I'm talking about in the zero waste videos. Uh, thanks for thanks for um, being so kind and caring. Um, I don't really get that much care in Germany. I think <laughs> I think people. International people watching are a lot nicer than uh, the viewers I get in Germany. Anyhow, that's it. Bye bye. See you soon. <laughs>